everyone, this is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to day two of the 12 days of Christmas series that I'm hosting and I hope that you guys are enjoying the projects that all my friends are doing as well. Um, I do have the lineup on the description box down below so make sure you follow it and you're subscribed to everyone's channels to participate on the giveaways that we are having. Um, so today what I have for you is this farmhouse style um, envelope and it's so quick and easy to do and these are perfect to put have some last minute gifts which is of course cash or gift cards and this is usually what I do for uh, my nephews and nieces that are all teenagers so all they really want is cash so I just decorate a cute card and give it to them so we can do this in no time so let me go ahead and share with you how I did that one and as you can see here I have some uh, little vintage buttons um, some things that i have on my stash like flowers this mary and bride and then some youth as well um, so i'm gonna start with the base the base is going to be a piece of nine and a half by 12 as you can see i'm actually gonna turn this around so i can score so i'm gonna score on the 12 inch side at three and a half and at nine inches to do the envelope and then I'm gonna flip this to the nine and a half inch side and I'm gonna score at one and I'm gonna score at eight and I am gonna have these measurements on the description box below if you guys uh, want a quick reference so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take out these squares like I don't know if you can see but the one here on this corner and this corner and the top corners as well so when I do that I'm actually going to go at an angle like this and then just take off right where we score and you can also use your paper trimmer if you like but you don't have to you can just manually cut it um, and don't worry about this being super straight because this part's gonna be hidden so I'm gonna take that out and then I'm also gonna take this out as well just quick 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 like this and one more like that and like this okay so how simple is this envelope okay so now what i'm gonna do is just fold along the score lines i'm gonna start here and here so as you can see, these two sides are going to overlap, okay? So then I'm going to actually put this one on the bottom and I'm just gonna add some glue here right along the edge, just like here, like this. Oh, my glue is getting super sticky. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of glue and now I'm just gonna close this up like this and then you're gonna have a one inch side here and a one and a half inch side so I'm gonna go ahead and fold the one inch and also glue this down super super quick just like that. So I'm gonna press this and make sure that it dries in place. And then I'm gonna fold this down. And this is gonna be the top part of the envelope. So to this part, I'm gonna add a little closure, which is just gonna be some Velcro. So let me start with the piece on the top. I'm just gonna put this right there. And the piece on the bottom, just like that. So now we have the envelope ready and all I'm gonna do is decorate this using some of the material that I just have on my stash. And I do, I'm filling the farmhouse 
um, elements this Christmas for some reason. So I'm gonna stick with the youth and having a little bit of like a rustic feel to, to this envelope. Even though the paper is shiny and fun, I feel like it balances really good. So I'm going to take some of these out because I love how it looks like that. And then I am going to make this a little bit smaller. Oops. Just like so. And of course, it doesn't have to be even. Um, the less perfect, the better when you're doing a farm style um or rustic type of project so now i'm kind of thinking if i should do this like this and just kind of to imitate what i did here so i'm going to go ahead and this is fabric tack i just took off the sticker because my glue spilled everywhere and then i just had to take everything out and and clean it up so fabric tack is a really good to use different materials like these and especially because the glossiness here sometimes it's hard to stick things to that so fabric tack is really good and then i'm just gonna add this right here on the top and these cards were actually on my stash i really don't know where this came from but I might as well use them so now i'm using some of these seam binding this is actually um what do we call this like a seri silk uh, very vintage looking already so i like it and i'm just gonna add more of my glue like this and one of these flowers these flowers are from recollections and they're also from my stash i don't know how long i had them but i really like how it looks like i think i bought them last year for my daughters um she had like a cowboy type of birthday and i think that's when i got it so now i'm just using some of these vintage buttons to decorate on the side and yeah very quick and simple easy so now all you have to do is you know put like a little cash or a gift card or anything or maybe just do a card you know like like a greeting card or a message for some happy mail or for your family members like i said so i really hope that you guys enjoy this quick and easy envelope tutorial don't forget to uh, follow the lineup and uh, make sure you're subscribed to everyone to participate on the giveaway so up next is my friend robin pitts and yeah so i want to thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow Bye bye